Why, hello, and thank you so much for joining me. This is Blink99, and we're back in Nightingale with the seventh episode. So, yeah, uh, basically I stopped in... Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute, hopefully nothing respawns on us. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so we were last, we last left off here at this puzzle, trying to figure out what we need to do. Sorry, let me get those set uh, on how to solve this puzzle. Obviously, I think it has something to do with um, the order in which we shoot these things. Uh, while it's resetting there, actually no. I usually wait till they turn blue, I guess. There we go, the first one. There we go. And then we'll wait wait for one of these. I think it's just these uh, crystal diamond pyramid shaped things. Um, there is one thing we saw in the back there. Oh, did a D? Don't know. Okay, goes back. Nothing is happening, so last time I clicked uh, this thing and it didn't like it. And there is this up here. Let's see what happens if I touch it. Okay, uh, something is happening. No clue what that was. I can hear it. Sounded like it went back again. What was that? Well, let's look, try it again. Is our thing still lit? Yeah. Just gonna stay here until, yep. Yeah. Check down here, nothing. Well, we can hear it shifting, but not seeing anything. Like a door opening. I don't want to spend too much longer on this, and I could do it offline if uh, need be. Let's see, was it something over here? I'm not seeing anything. is getting tired. Oh. It's red. Aha. So. But how do we parkour this. Yes, we can. Alright. E? No. Go figure, right? Whoa, no. Trying to get out of here. I'm stuck. One. 
All right, gotta heal up. Uh, Q. All right. And we are desperately needing some sleep. Let's give this one more go. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I shoot in there? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there is something in there. All right, at least we made some headway here. stamina. Wow. All right. I think it's time to make a bed and all that. Be camping up here. Let's take care of business. All right. Build. Survival. Place. Let's just sleep. There we go. Rested. All right. Let's get give this one more go, guys, and then uh, I'll have to call it from there. We never did see what the next item gets lit. We know it's not this one. And we tried this one, and it didn't like it. See if it triggers something to turn blue. We know it's not this one. I wonder if it's the order of things is not right. I think we did the center, right? Uh, 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. this. Okay, let me be a little bit more careful. Did not notice this. That's underneath. That would go here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Some of this matters. Or there's going to be a hidden thing that'll help us. Alright, so this changes a bit. Let me uh, search around, make sure. Uh, let's go ahead and pick that up. Nothing there. Nothing here. Let's check. Feels like such a big space that there would be something there. All right. Let's check all the floors again. Okay. Don't know why there's that noise, but okay. Let's study this now. Go ahead and get the crossbow ready. So we saw that one light up, then this one. But we can't tell because we don't know if the back ones are getting lit up. This is forest. What am I talking about? All right, then there's this. Let's see if this one ever lights up. Nope. Not lighting up. We know it's not that. We know it's not that going on here. Oh, I never did. Oh, let's see. Isn't this uh, this thing it's supposed to help? Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, how do you use it? Okay. Let's get our 
axe back. I don't know what to do, guys. That's that's um, lost there. So I'm going to leave it alone. We're going to head back to Ortega, so we can proceed with our mission. And I'll try to deal with that offline. Wasted enough time here, so let's get moving. Pick this up in case we need to make some essence. Uh, which way do we need to go? I think it's east. Yes is this way. Let's go. Got those deer looking things. They look pretty cool with the color, the green, kind of red, green. Oh, I got him finally. Like a flower tail. Interesting. Alright, let's cut him up. I don't know, I didn't notice that aiming thing there before, the reticle, uh, but it probably has been there and I just didn't recognize it. Let's see, we saw this, so it should be right down here. use the hide. Okay, let's see Ortega, what do you have for us? Returning again to seek a bit of realm walking wisdom, are you? I completed your first trial. Ah, that explains you marching up like a peafowl. Have you plundered essences from the Fey ruins? I have, though not without trouble. Turn it in. I retrieved what I could, but I have no idea what it is. This essence junk seems... No, let's go with the first one. Yeah. It is called a trial for a reason. <laughs> okay. As part of your reward, I've given you the final essential realm walking tool, a Red Cross surveying spyglass for scouting threats among the wild. I have found memories of my first spyglass as a boy. Handle yours with care and let it bring near that which hides far. As for those essences... Could you feel the radiant energy resonating from them? Let's hope so, for they will become vital in your second trial if you're ready. Essence, what are these obtruse things? What can we do with Essence? You made a spyglass. No, I'm ready for the next trial. The second trial is a truer test. The objective is to match survival prowess with your penchant for exploration. Realm diving is the way of the walker, after all. You'd best have your realm cards at the ready. History is in your hands. You haven't told me what the trial is. This trial, unlike the last, requires some preparation. It entails a touch more danger, and you'll need to be well equipped. You'll need to improve one of your tools by crafting upgrades and infusions made of essence and a bit of dust. A fine use for what you scrounged up in your last excursion. Then comes the trial proper. With tool in hand, seek out a fey tower or underground sanctum. At the culmination of any such construct, you'll find an artifact of great value. Claim it and return it here. Seek out a fey tower or a underground sanctum. Okay. Should these wilds weary you in the interim, seek respite before pressing on. What is fey artifact? It is an item of great power known as the Synchronous Lotus, difficult to acquire but plentiful given the infinite nature of the realms. Within these flowers stir energy enough to power even humanity's most demanding innovations. As such, they provide prove invaluable to a realm walker, allowing us to operate whatever machinery we, mean, we may need on our dives without requiring the rather in, inelegant fuels common to Earth. 
as with all fey magics their acquisition carries a degree of risk such risk however is the reality of these wilds we must each weigh that cost against the value of our ends respite question mark that pocket watch is truly a thing of wonder in addition to being an ornate timepiece it contains a magical fail-safe mechanism which allows its wearer to instantly travel back to a single location they use it to port explorers back to nightingale but that tether was severed with some adept fiddling the location can be changed and attuned to your estate Karen. though i don't advise doing so too often lose that watch you'll be high and dry carry on for whatever vileness out there has developed out here has developed a taste for man's flesh no more explanation necessary sign understand remember this fey these fey sites have long been abandoned by their architects but they are not without plentiful dangers and oddities if you decide to brave a tower you'd best you'd be remiss not to experiment with the fascinating prowess of the realm realmic transmuter talk take this minor card and see for yourself realm transmuter you said i'll be back once the trial is complete i leave you with the geo arcane idiom to plant to ponder truth reveals themselves to those who walk with curious eyes i shall ponder it so why do i hear a wolf there it is chop chop and glad i think there was another game i was playing where i was getting killed uh as i was reading the content might have been this game actually <laughs> all right um don't know can we go back to base so we have no cards you mentioned a time piece let's check that out well we do have cards Don't see a pocket watch. Oh, this one. Okay. Um, as much as I don't want to do this, I'm going to press it because it's talking about we need to upgrade our weapons, and I don't suppose they want us to be making a base every time, every new realm we go to, right? So, let's travel back to our respite. Are you sure you want to travel to your respite realm? You will leave this realm and may not have access to return. Okay, but craft uncommon upgrade. Let's quickly get under here. Uncommon upgrade. So let's see, maybe we don't need... any crafting thing uh, I don't know sure looks like I do Uncommon upgrade. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. And I can't save this. There's a high probability I'll never be able to come back to Ortega. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let's let's check, and make sure he doesn't have a tool. So what is that? Survivor camp point. Hmm. 
still not sure what to do, guys. Do we chance by going back to our base, upgrading like they want us to? Or do we... Well, if we do that, we have a chance of never coming back. Or do we... stay here and build up. You said use it, but don't use it too often. Ah, what the hell, let's see. I mean, we have to try something, right? We still need to craft up a forest card as well, and an antiquarium, in hopes that we hit back that same location. Yeah, it's a little, uh, I don't want to say get lost, but you could get lost in this game. Um, or at least there should be a way, and maybe there is, it's just me, you know, being stupid. Uh, there, to, to reread that, to what he said, um, or actually I probably could have talked to him again. It says use it, but don't use it too often. But he did say to use it. So that's why I'm, I'm using it, or that was my decision to proceed with that. But if, as it says, it warns us, uh, you may not ever come back. The, these are procedurally generated realms, right? So, yeah. I did notice uh, one thing about the game. As you can see here, we're waiting for the server to respond with our realm. And it does take a little bit of time, uh, usually when I load the game as well, uh, which I imagine it's the same mechanism behind. It's, yeah, it takes time. It could be just flooded with lots of players. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pause it so we don't waste the video time, and I'll resume it once it's loaded up. And as soon as I pressed it, it came. <laughs> Funny. All right. So here we are. We're back at base. Grunting. Let's go ahead and uh, unload some of this stuff. Well, let's make our... Or we have paper, I think. Looking for paper... There we go, 11 sheets. We need the ink, I believe. We can uh, drop some of this stuff. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and pack away these ingots. Not sure they really weigh that much, to be honest. Um, not sure, can we collapse some of this? Yes, and some of this. Good, good. Um, twines, good. Okay, and over here we have more wood. Okay, with more sticks, rocks. What is this? Oh, the spyglass. Okay, we'll have to use that later. Hmm. Okay. We're getting a lot of uh, materials here. It's getting a little tricky to manage. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, make the card. What's this? Recovery. It's an enchantment. What does it do though? Oh, of course, it's down here. This enchantment rapidly heals the caster and can be charged for a more powerful effect. The amount healed in duration increases with the caster's magic power. Ooh, I like that. As legends say, the first humans to enter. Okay, doesn't allow more. Oh wait, what do I need for that? We have the dust, we need a weak human seal. 
What is that? Weak human seal. A weak human seal crafted out of stone. Okay, is that maybe here? Nope. Mortar? Nope. Okay, we'll deal with that one later. Or maybe it's down here. Nope. Okay, what's this? Constancy infusion. When applied to equipment, this infusion provides increased durability, plain for what it is, but possess of a hidden potential where others crumble, it remains firm, enduring without fail. All right, let's just, I assume this is an easy one to use. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, in progress, okay. Um, let's go ahead and make this as well. Oh, we have to wait. Okay. New no problem. Okay, craft that. Oops, did I get it? Oh. I did. Okay. Nice. So all of these are infusions. Alright. And the forest card. Check it up, check it out. Yes, we got it. Okay. Craft uncommon upgrade. Uncommon upgrade. These are uncommon. Oh. Is that a, not an upgrade though? Craft uncommon upgrade. Upgrade an item to uncommon quality. Um, okay, this is a common one. Equip. Okay. Um, umbrella. Common. Okay, guys, I'm a little lost. I'm sorry about that. Um, kind of wishing I can progress somehow to figure these out. Um, I thought it said you can basically hover over the items. So that, let's say this. And then there should be somewhere or craft uncommon upgrade. Or did I see it the other time? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything anymore. Or is it this? And then up here? Nope. I don't have an upgrade. All right, let's do some, ex oh, there we go. Ingredient slot. Autofill. Um, or maybe oh, we have an apply button. Is that what I saw? No available item to apply infusion. Could it be? It needs to be in here. Nope. This. Let's repair it. Equip. No. All right, guys. Um. Yeah. Sorry about that. I will figure that another time, as I said. Um. Yeah, I'm a little lost uh, what I need to be doing and I, I not I don't even remember how to get to the other 
the other screen I just had. So let's do some exploring. Um, I'll definitely be checking that out offline and I'll be ready to give you the news on how it works. Uh, that'll be my little bit of homework, let's say. Let's check out this crazy looking place here. See what we come up with. This looks like one of these realmy thingies. Or not realms, but uh, dungeon. Let's see if there's any loot up here first. We can break stuff. Oh yeah, we need to unload actually. Well, let's just take a look first. And that looks like it's sealed that I can't go in. Yeah. Luckily that doesn't <laughs> cause any damage. Um, maybe we need to go up. Aha. Oh, jeez, oh, he scares me every time. It came at last in the usual fashion. I was in the midst of a fitful sleep when suddenly I appeared to stop before a thick wall of fog. The wall rolled up in front of me and I saw a dark and ethereal scene. There lay a cavern formed of slick rocks and stalactites. The floor below was coated in water and in it floated the reflection of a glowing amethyst fungi. Almost in the center of the shallow lake was a flat pattern of rock scarcely peeking above the water. Suddenly upon the rock appeared a gigantic, gigantic humbaba. Its eyes shone red and wickedly, and it stared right through me as if I were a shadow. Several bodies ran past me then, human and eager for a hunt. Their boots splashed across the lake, their mouths open with a battle cries, but I could hear nothing. Even when I attempted a shout of warning, no sound produced. I watched helplessly as one by one they fell. Victorious, the Humbaba let out a roar, terrifying, though silent. Then that sinister wall of fog returned, and I awoke with a distinct pain in my thigh and a name on my lips, Jana. Okay, the hunt site of power. All right, let's see what's behind these walls. Oh, looks like a little cage. Nothing, I could just tear things up. Um... What else? Uh, that's a side one. It's nothing. It's any signs of what I need to do? Or am I just low level? Doesn't say. Alright, let's move on then. It's nothing dangerous, so to speak. Let's go check out this um, dome thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I feel a little bad. I'm not, I don't have any. Listen, oh, jeez. Talking about walking slow in water. I don't have anything uh, really, really awesome to show you all. I'm a little disappointed that I, I can't. Um, I suppose, though, with this, like I said, this is a learning process for me, thus it's going to be good and bad at times uh, for you all if you keep up and watch. I hope you do, um, and kind of learn as I progress through this game. Obviously, if you're following me first before you play, then at least it's sort of a walkthrough, if you will, type content. Um, let's see, what's this? looks not as sinister as the other one. Ooh, well, oh, what's that? Is that pigs? Pigs. Almost easy enough now. about not having enough resources. <laughs> oh. oh, there he is. Take that. Take this flower for pigment. Alright. 
Let's see if there's anything crazy here. Just don't fall on me. Oh, that's huge. Oh yeah, I want to go to that ship. Maybe we'll do that after we check this out. That's pretty cool. Looks like uh, the horns of uh, one of those ca canoons. I think that's how they're pronounced. Can Canute. Come on, Ernest. Okay, gotta find some sort of entrance. Here we go. Also locked off. Why is that? My guess is we're low level. And it's sort of protecting us from entering. <laughs> uh, uh, a hopeless area. Okay. All right. So, but do we get it marked on the map? We do. Good. Good. Oh no, we don't. Okay. I like this trail thing. It's kind of funny to see. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go to the ship then. So, oh wait. What's this? this part of the ship or another ship it's the mast Ooh, we got some crystals guys a new a new um, items we really don't want to break this cool look at this oh not even close to mining I need to take away his axe. Making me nervous. Oh, is this working? Don't see an immune sign. So many mushrooms. Oh, got a chest here. Let's What's this? Strengthening potion. Cool, cool. We're getting a lot of uh, potion type stuff. Magical items. That's good. Something to explore more. Okay, we don't really need that. I'm just hoping one of these will give us something crazy. Cool. Chests are always good. What do we got here? Thinned Veil card. Play this card to move more quickly, leap safely to great heights, and use stamina more efficiently. Slight purifying potion. Nice. Ooh. We can use that for pigments. didn't notice that that whole thing is a like a node a mining node okay that's good to know all right oh, got some food here grab that um unfortunately i'm gonna have to call it here guys uh time ran out Ooh, all those wolves oh no it's not wolves uh just not as successful as I hoped. I, I could have made it for you all. Uh, I'm going to make that a quick print screen. Um, like I said, I will do my homework. And the next time you guys come, and I hope you do come, uh, I'll have all those questions answered. I'll do my research and have it ready so you all will see. Before we'll leave, we'll go ahead and hit this echo, hope echo, and then we'll call it there. So the di giant's legend, a wanderer's transcription. As if these old bones tumbling through a soddy natural portal wasn't enough, it dropped me at the feet of a great swamp giant. It did me the dignity of shutting thereafter. I feared the worst, but the giant designed 
ordained to set me on my feet, walked me back to his hovel. He did, and as another shock began singing in the giant's tongue, though I parsed not a word, it conjured such vivid images that his meaning became clear as day. Lacking his magical aptitude, my responses were reduced to much prolonged wild gesturing i had thought all giants to be towering men like the old fairy tales it seems the familiar sort sun giants keep to the deserts i asked all i could about his magical his mythical kin but my benefactor knew little while cousins i suppose the two clans rarely meet only one swamp giant had bridged the gap coming to understand the sun folk and what they desire then as i never thought to experience in all my years he sat me down like a babe for a story and began to sing anew his voice painted a great legend of his people about the hero called danu that's pretty cool i like that i like that a lot actually so um yeah i'm gonna call it here uh as usual if you ended up enjoying this video, please remember to press that like button for me. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.